Assalamu alaikum dear students I am Dr Shah Jabeen and today's topic is hypersensitivity At the end of this lecture you would be able to know that what is hypersensitivity and its type you will know the atopic allergy or immediate hypersensitivity that is mediated by IgE and the delayed type of allergy that is mediated by T cells you know very well that our immune system is protective protective against all the foreign invaders like pathogens or any foreign environmental entity but sometimes this protective mechanism may result in tissue damage or that can lead to death even to death if this response is inappropriate or exaggerated exaggerated means enhanced increased so this exaggerated or inappropriate immune response resulting in tissue damage is known as hypersensitivity and if this hypersensitivity reaction is against an extrinsic aid antigen in this case it is known as allergen it is this then the phenomena is known as allergy and if there is genetic tendency to develop allergies against very harmless uh, uh, things like dust pollen that may include a mild annoying reaction to severe body damaging reactions and even in, sometimes they become fatal too that is known as atopy this slide shows the pathophysiological classification of hypersensitivity by coombs and they divide it into four types type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 do remember type 1 2 3 are antibody mediated while type 4 is cell cell mediated now come to the type 1 hypersensitivity that is also known as immediate atopic anaphylactic hypersensitivity this hypersensitivity is an allergic reaction what does it mean allergic i have told you that it is uh, provoked by a specific antigen that is free and exogenous that is taken from the environment foreigner and uh, the exposure may be through ingestion like any food particle inhalation as uh, uh, pollen grains uh, may be inhaled or injection or direct contact like drugs bee sting lotion soap or anything like this and this first type of hypersensitivity immediate hypersensitivity involve the antibodies of ige types and ige antibodies are fixed to the mast cells or basophils so the primary cellular component in this hypersensitivity is mast cell or basophil while the antibody is ige now these mast cells and basophils when they are activated by the specific antigens or you can say allergens they can rupture and their granules secrete histamine proteases slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis which is a mixture of toxic leukotrienes eosinophil chemotactic substance neutrophil chemotactic substance heparin and platelet activating factor that causes the mild pro inflammatory responses within seconds or minutes that is why it is known as immediate hypersensitivity and but sometimes what happens when this uh, allergen load is uh, the specific allergen load is very much uh, like uh, uh, during the bee sting uh, case what happens that this uh, this the inflammatory responses is huge is more is enhanced there is increased vascular permeability and airway constriction uh, due to the um, Uh, histamine release and that can lead to decrease blood supply to the main organ or the vital organs like brain and that can lead to the systemic shock condition and to the death uh, can lead to the death and that is known as anaphylactic 
shock. And now come to this, how and when these mast cells and basophil degranulate and what is the mechanism of the type 1 hypersensitivity. Look at the picture. Whenever there is an entry of an extrinsic uh, antigen or in this case you can say allergen, it may be pollen, house dust, animal dander, food or anything else. When it got entry into the body, what happens? The antigen presenting cells, you know, macrophages, dendritic cells, all those will um, take and present it to the, in the lymphoid tissue to the helper T cells. In the help and the helper T cells then activate the B cells. The B cells, they activate the B cells by secreting interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 and causes the class switching of B cells. What is this class switching? Uh, you know B cells, uh, whenever there is primary response, usually they secrete which type of antibody? They secrete IgM. But what happens in this case, after class switching, they in, the, in this allergic scenario, the hypersensitivity uh, scenario, they uh, uh, secrete IgE antibodies. I told you uh, the uh, allergy or hypersensitivity is mediated by which antibody? IgE. So these B cells produce IgE antibody. And what happens? This IgE antibody have affinity for mast cells or basophils and they fix by their FC portions to these cells. Up till now, this stage is known as sensitization. It was prime when it came the helper T cells and activated the B cell and when IgE release and they are attached to the mast cell, it is known as sensitization. Afterwards, one, what happens next? When the same antigen, when the same allergens got entry again, these, uh, these IgE were attached to the mast cells. So when it is attached to the antibodies variable region, what happens? These mast cells are degranulated and they release the allergy mediators that causes the clinical effects of allergy and uh, what are the effects? The effects are increased vascular permeability and uh, tissue edema and what happened? Vasodilation, smooth mu muscle contraction just uh, to cause this uh, asthma and uh, uh, skin damage or skin tissue lesion and just like in the eczema. All these clinical effects of allergy appear due to these mediators, which include uh, slow reacting uh, substance of anaphylaxis, histamine, proteases, and others that causes the inflammation and vasodilation are uh, that is the eosinophil neutrophils uh, react uh, attracts and attractants and all those things, all the mediators. These are some of the allergic reactions. Example, an al allergic asthma, uh, the ma majorly slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis or histamine causes a spasm of the bronchular smooth muscle and the person feels difficulty in breathing. While in the case of allergic conjunctivitis, uh, in which the mediators produce inflammation in conjunctiva, making it irritated and red. While in the case of uh, allergic rhinitis, it is also known as hay fever. The allergy site is nose. And uh, the histamine release or the mediators release, other medi mediators also release, causes uh, local vasodilation and increase uh, capillary pressure and permeability uh, that causes the lung na nasal uh, tissue or the nasal lining or tissue swollen and secretory and sometimes irritation and typical sneezing syndrome. 
and what happens in the atric area this is the skin condition uh, allergy skin condition also known as hives in which the vasodilators uh, causes the vasodilation increased permeability can lead to red flare and swelling of the skin and sometimes these are known as hives as well you must have seen this uh, and the last one that is the example is anaphylaxis as we have discussed this is a widespread allergic reaction that occurs throughout the vascular system and the mediators cause uh, um, the chemical mediators that are released from the uh, mast cells causes wide vasodilation, body-wide vasodilation, increased permeability, resulting marked loss of plasma from circulation and consequently circulatory shock. Now come to second type of hypersensitivity that is known as antibody. Uh, mediated or antibody dependent hypersensitivity it is an immediate reaction in which antigen bearing cells are damaged and those antigen that are present on the patient's cell surfaces may be extrinsic or intrinsic the antibodies that are present in the type 2 hypersensitivity are IgG and IgM and they bind to these antigens whether intrinsic or extrinsic and form complexes and these antigen antibody complexes let me take the pointer uh, activate the classical pathway of complement and you know the classical path pathway uh, it uh, activate the three things number one it causes the uh, enhanced phagocytosis number two it causes the inflammation and third it makes a membrane attack complex at the end it causes the lysis or cell death of the target or any of the antigen in this case so all of these mechanism causes the tissue destruction then it is known as cytotoxic type and uh, in some cases uh, the whole destruction is not there but only the cell function is altered and that is known as non cytotoxic type of type 2 hypersensitivity this is the pictorial representation you can see that uh, in this picture the antibodies are fixing a uh, complement and also attracting the phagocytotic cells and causing the hyper responsive inflammation and causing the tissue injury uh, of uh, of the cells uh, uh, of the body cells and uh, damaging them that the body cells that have that antigen with it over the surface of them these are the examples of type 2 hypersensitivity uh, and, and that mediate that are mediated by the antibodies uh, the first two erythroblastosis fetalis and transfusion reactions you will do in detail and after the blood grouping lectures in both the scenarios antibodies destroy or lyse rbcs uh, in the case of eryth erythroblastosis fetalis maternal antibodies cross pl placenta and lyse fetal uh, antigen bearing RBCs while in the case of transfusion reaction or mismatched transfusion reaction antigen antibody uh, um, reaction uh, uh, hemolysis of RBCs occur while in the case of drug induced hemolytic reactions uh, uh, the drug which is the extrinsic antigen and it elicit the antibody uh, reaction hyper reaction uh, through the complement system and causes the lysis of the RBCs in in the last that is the myasthenia gravis what happened that antibodies are formed against the acetylcholine receptor causing the impaired neuromuscular transmission and the muscle weakness come to the third type of hypersensitivity that is also known as immune complex hypersensitivity in which uh, the antigen antibody and antibodies are IgG and, and IgM uh, their complex is formed and this immune complexes that are formed are not removed from the circulation 
so these complexes are deposited in various tissue uh, maybe in the skin kidney lungs and joints are are deposited and causes the disease look at the mechanism of type 3 hypersensitivity in this uh, the complexes large quantities of soluble antigen antibody complexes are formed and usually they are removed by the macrophages but not in in this case as they remain in the circulation so they causes the activation of classical complement pathway leading to the uh, vasodilation and other inflammatory response tissue damages as well here you can see that the complement pathway as it causes the more inflammation and attract many of the leukocyte and they came to that area and uh, causes starts the damaging so antigen antibody complex along with the uh, activated complement system and in increased enhanced or exaggerated inflammatory response by the wbc's uh, um, that uh, all these things lead to the tissue death and hemorrhage these are the examples of type 3 hypersensitivity uh, the in the glomerulonephritis the basement membrane of the glomerulus of kidney is uh, damaged due to the uh, uh, formation of uh, antigen antibody complex and they are lodging in that side and their hyper immune response in the rheumatoid arthritis, uh, uh, the damage uh, site are antigen antibody complex damage site are the joints, while in the systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, we used to say uh, this is a typical SLE uh, rash. Uh, as the name says, in this, uh, the, uh, there is production of uh, uh, systemic production of unusual antibodies and their complexes in the whole blood. Now the last type of hypersensitivity that is the type 4 hypersensitivity and it is also known as cell mediated or delayed type of hypersensitivity uh, just because uh, it occurs the reaction uh, takes place after 2 to 3 days to develop. Unlike other uh, types do remember that it is not antibody mediated but rather it is a type of cell mediated response. And in this case, the antigens are intracellular bacteria like Mycobacterium tuberculosis or leprae, intracellular viruses or intracellular parasites or any environmental substance coming in contact with the skin. Type 4 hypersensitivity is mediated by T lymphocytes and macrophages. And T lymphocytes, both the T lymphocytes, cytotoxic cells causes direct damage, whereas the helper T cells uh, secrete cytokines which activate the cytotoxic cells, as well as they also recruit and activate the macrophages. And uh, the whole damage is done by all these cells. Here are some examples of type 4 hypersensitivity. You can see number one is contact dermatitis in which uh, there is you you can see the reaction contact dermatitis the reaction uh, to the leather other one is poison iv rash poison iv uh, it's a toxin on repeated exposure it causes formation of activated helper and cytotoxic t cell and on the subsequent exposure the of the poison iv toxin Within a day or so, the activated T cells diffuse from the circulation and they uh, come to skin and elicit increased immune response of cell-mediated type. Uh, that includes cytotoxic and macrophage is mediated tissue damage. Now, in this, the second example, the uh, uh, other two examples are our symptoms of leprosy and symptoms of tuberculosis in the leprosy uh, a prolonged delayed type of hypersensitivity response is destructive and the intense uh, 
uh, response can develop into a visible granulomatous uh, reaction what is that it is the nodular aggregation of inflammatory cells mostly macrophages and they are transformed into epithelial like cells this slide shows the summary of all the hypersensitivities uh, look at here uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 1 is also known as atopic uh, um, you know it very well that it means the genetic tendency uh, to have allergy type 2 is cytotoxic type 3 uh, is mediated by immune complexes and type 4 is delayed type uh, of all uh, three are antibody mediated while only the delayed type of type 4 of hypersensitivity is cell mediated type T cells are there uh, to involve uh, to evoke this one uh, out of this the uh, type 1 is IgE mediated while type 2 and type 3 are IgM or IgG mediated and uh, you can see the onset only the delayed type is uh, after the 48 to 72 hours and the immediate type of hypersensitivity uh, occurs within seconds may occur within the seconds too other you know the mast cells are the effectors of type uh, 1 while the macrophages and complement are the effectors for type 2 and all the granulocytes uh, 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 causes the destruction in the immune complexes type of hypersensitivity while the macrophages and T cells are the effectors of uh, delay type of hypersensitivity thank you students these are the names of books for reference and my email address for queries.